Good evening, guys. Welcome back to another Too Much To Do Tuesday on What You... Uh, on what? On Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. Oh, I messed that one up. I was thinking about Too Much To Do Tuesday and what you're working on Wednesday. But it's not Wednesday. It's Tuesday, Amanda. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been one of those days. I know I missed morning motivationals this morning. I slept in and... Uh, wasn't feeling too good this morning, so, you know, sorry. was not my intention to miss it, but when I say welcome to all my new subscribers, welcome to all my returning subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. So if you're new here, this video is called Too Much To Do Tuesday, where I show what I am working on for the week and what I have been working on. So I've also started two new segments on Thursdays. I will show updates on Amigurumi that I'm working on and Fridays I will show the um, updates on the Boggy Creek blankets that I'm working on. Um, I did finish one so you will see that Friday. Uh, I have worked on my Amigurumi so you will see that Thursday. So, to be honest, other than what I showed on Made It Monday, which was yesterday, I really don't have that much to show. <laughs> like I said I wasn't feeling too good today, so I didn't get much done, but I got some done. So, that's a plus. So, this will be a pretty short video. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I know a lot of people like the short video, so you're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, you guys ready to see what I've been working on? Um, yeah, you ready? I did just get out of the shower, so wet hair, don't care. <laughs> get shiny hair. <laughs> shiny, shiny. Yeah, I'm a dork. So. Anyways, I am working on a shawl pattern. I'm still working on it. I'm almost done. Almost and then it'll go to testers. I have four testers waiting for the pattern. So I just gotta get the last little bit typed up and it will be sent to them. But this first uh, thing I wanna show you is that pattern just being worked up. Um, you know, I'm just showing you. Uh, it's not the pattern, it's not the, one I took pictures for for the pattern. <laughs> this is a different one. Uh, this is going, my pattern is done with one cake, but you can do it with multiple cakes. Um, but I wrote it for one cake because I know a lot of people have the one cake of um, like the Hobby yarn, the uh, Hobby Lobby, like one weight, it's like a one weight, two weight. Um, it calls for a two weight, but I mean, you can use any weight yarn you want to. Um, the numbers will just shift. So um, I use 874 yards is what comes in the cake, but I use just about 800. Depends on the tension. It, it's all in the pattern. So hope to release it here in a little bit. Yes, Rob. <laughs> but anyways, this is the one I'm working on at the moment. Um, the stitch marker here is where you guys seen it last. I have not done but like a row and a half. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I was. I forgot to put a new stitch marker in it. So I'll show you where I got to. It is quite big. So if you see the stitch marker there, it dangling. I've only got the next row almost done. So right now I will Take the stitch marker where it was and I will put it where I am so you guys can see that 
progression. Um, since it is a two shawl one that I'm working on at the moment, um, I should be almost done with the lace with a one cake, but since it is a two cake, um, I'm still working on the first um, cake. I'm almost done with the first cake, but there's that shawl again. Curls on the edges, which I love. Curls on the edges. Ah. So it is very wide, but it's not very long. But it will be a nice, comfy shawl. <laughs> so it does cover a lot at the moment. Uh, like I said, I uh, need to do more on it. <laughs> so, but that's that. Um, I said once the pattern is done and tested, I will um, get it out um, and release the pattern. So with the two weight yarn, I am using a four millimeter hook. I'm using my floor, floor, four millimeter cro uh, clover crochet hook, the purple one. One second. I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so that's the first thing I've been working on. So not much progression on that, but you know, life, right? And the last thing I've actually worked on um, this week, other than the other two things I can't show until the date that they're coming out. Um, but I will, you know, show those uh, coming up this week. Um, but the last one, trying to get this done because I need to get it done. I started it a little while ago and I thought I was going to keep going and then stuff came up and we all know how that goes. For this one, I am using Lion Brand Pound of Love in the color white. It is 16 ounces, 454 grams, 1,020 meters, or 1,020 yards, or 932 meters, medium four, a six millimeter crochet hook or eight millimeter knitting needles, uh, machine washable, dryable, all that fun stuff because is it, it is 100% acrylic and it's made in Egypt. <laughs> so that's that, just white, just plain old white. I would like to do this pattern in rainbow. Um, maybe you'll understand when I show you. Some of you have seen it. Some of you have not, but I am doing the Tree of Life blanket. I'm using the video pattern by Bonnie Bay Crochet. The pattern will be linked below, video tutorial. Uh, in all of her videos, she has the written pattern linked in it. So as you can see, I've already done the trees. And now I'm working on the flowers. Last time you seen it, it was on the divider row, which is here, which was three rows of um, crap stitch back and forth. Um, and then you follow the rest of the pattern. The flowers will be, this part will be up soon, but I haven't got to that part yet. So like I said, last time you seen it, I had just finished the last row of crap stitch. So I've got gotten quite a bit done. I did put a stitch marker where I am now. So there's the flowers as of now. Where's that? For this, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. Um, and it is just a boy. Um, metal hook. I can use the metal hooks as long as it's at least a six. <laughs> One day I tried to use a five. My hands were not happy. Okay. 
So that's what I've been working on. Um, like I said, I will link the pattern for that below. Um, and you guys will know when I release the pattern for my shawl. Um, that's about it. That's what I've been doing. Uh, other than what I showed yesterday, um, which was the headbands and the um, dish scrubbies. Like I said, I have been getting further along with my amigurumi, which you will see on Thursday. And then I have finished a blanket for Boggy Creek. Um, if you want to learn more about Boggy Creek, I will leave Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. I will leave her channel below uh, to learn more about that. I will also mention it every Friday. Um, I did mention it this last Friday, but every couple of weeks she does a Q and A. Um, it's her, Lynette from Charmed Grammy, uh, and Billy the Crafty Floridian, um, and then Nancy's mom. Uh, they all do a live, usually on Billy's channel. Um, I will link all of them below. You can go check them out if you have not checked them out. Uh, if you want to learn more about Boggy Creek. So, that's that. Uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, follow me on Facebook, Obsessive Crochet Lady. Instagram, uh, Obsessive Crochet Lady 18. It's 2018, I believe. I don't really use Instagram that much, but hey, if you want to, it's there. Um, and then my email is obsessive crochet lady at gmail.com. All lowercase letters if you ever want to get a hold of me. Um, in my about page, I do have um, the links to those. So you, instead of remind, remembering them, you can go to the about page and click on those. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you today. 12 minutes of me yapping. So. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful evening. It's about maybe 10 o'clock now. So you probably won't see this for a little while. Probably be a little late, sorry. Um, my husband did not go to work today, so I really didn't have time to do this during the day and he's asleep now. So I had time to do it. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all, don't forget to love yourself, love your neighbors, one small act of kindness, you never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple hug, a simple text of I love you, or I'm thinking of you, sometimes it really does help. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye for now.